Today we can say is uh, Good Shepherd Sunday, with the readings here focusing on the image of the shepherds, the shepherds in the Old Testament being unfaithful and scattering the sheep by their bad example. And our Lord seeing the vast crowd and feeling pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. So we see here the role of a shepherd is to teach, to teach many things. Our Lord taught the crowds and teaches us and his teachings are like him showing that uh, loving care as a shepherd would for his sheep that he cares for. <clears throat> and this would, would of course uh, refer mainly to the, the bishops and the priests uh, and, and their role of shepherding in this spiritual realm and the spiritual works of mercy too. We all are shepherds when we are in charge of anyone and have care over anyone, of course, parents, teachers, those who have uh, the role of teaching in some way to others, we uh, have to shepherd them. And this takes love, this takes care to, re to take, the, take the time to teach children. Of course, we have a crisis of shepherds in the church today, in the world today, uh, crisis because people are being either taught error or they're being neglected and not being taught the tr truth uh, or they're being neglected and left to mm, their own, their own uh, um, thinking their, or the, the false teachers throughout the, throughout the world, the false religions, etc. So there's this uh, need for true shepherds, real shepherds, starting from the family, starting from the bishops and the priests who need to spread the teachings of Jesus and the catechism needs to be more perfectly proclaimed. We have, of course, the, the universal catechism of the church come out recently in the 80s. Uh, but we have the Baltimore Catechism, which can be taught on the micro level in, the, in parishes, and it's, it's a timeless document, a timeless uh, teaching tool that's not out of date today. It still can be taught, and I've, I taught it myself uh, uh, with students, and it was so easy to teach, so easy to teach uh, clearly and in a way that was uh, uh, interesting to the children. And uh, we know this is not being done in our schools. And so the ch children, of course, polls and surveys say that Catholics, especially young people, don't know anything about their faith. They don't even know the basics. So that's a real crisis. And <clears throat> we see that. Uh, and uh, h how we must need to, how we must turn this, turn this around as best we can with those who we, who we influence. Uh, you know, this is the sad case in the seminaries as well. I remember uh, going to, uh, seeking to be a diocesan priest for, for a while, and I knew my own, my own home diocese was, had its problems, uh, that there were some good teachers and some bad, probably more good teachers than bad, but the piety there was, was lacking as well, and yet I still thought I'd go there and because I had, you know, was older, probably an older vocation there, so I knew my faith and I knew that I wouldn't be easily led astray. And so I thought I'd go there and go there and uh, go through the go through the any bad teachers and go through the any persecution you'd get for being caught praying the rosary in the church or kneeling down too much or whatever. Uh, and uh, mentioned this to my spiritual director, and he said, "No, you don't want to go to a." to a, a seminary or a religious community where you're going to be struggling uh, along the way to the priesthood and where you're going to be fed uh, things that you're going to have to sift through and struggle with and better to join a, a, a seminary or a religious community that's going to foster your faith and nurture it and help you along the way uh, and where you're going to grow and in a good environment. And uh, so he steered me away from the that, that path uh, um, and uh, steered me to the Franciscans of the Immaculate, who he, he, he had known a friar here. Not that we are the best, maybe we are, maybe we're not, we're certainly one of the best communities that are focused on the truth, focused on spreading the, the truth. And uh, 
the unadulterated truth, you know, we're yeah. sifting through any errors, we get rid of any bad books, we get rid of any bad uh, teachings, we get rid of anything bad, we, and we keep all the good and spread all the, all the good through our, to our brothers, and we don't have anything bad in the, in the community as far as we can uh, see. And that's what we want. We want the unadulterated truth. This is what we have in the Catholic faith. The unadulterated, the fullness of the truth. Our Protestant brothers and sisters have a lot of truth, but that's mixed with some error, and that's and that's not what we're uh, what Jesus wants. He's he wants the fullness of the truth for us. He wants uh, us to teach that and have that, so that we're not struggling and we're not uh, unsure. We're not uh, unsure about even about our salvation, whether we're in the state of grace. So we have the confession, too, where we're sure that our sins are going to be forgiven with true sorrow. We're sure of that. And that those who don't have confession, those who are outside the church, are they sorry for their sins, but are they sure that they're going to be forgiven? Are they sure they have sufficient sorrow? Are they sure they have the, the guarantee of Jesus Christ that your sins are forgiven? We need this, uh, we need this, and that's why God gave us a church that is infallibly true in, in the teachings and its sacraments, and Jesus is infallibly present in the Eucharist, infallibly uh, forgives our sins with true, with that true sorrow and contrition. And so, uh, of course, we, we, we need to share, share this truth. We have it. It's not like we're, uh, we're bereft of this certainty, this fullness. We have it. And so we, are, we, are, we need to be true shepherds that are loving and caring. Parents need to, of course, uh, in this love and care for them, teach their children. They're primary teachers of their, of their children. And, and if we had that, we, uh, we would have uh, uh, our children more educated and more sound in the faith. And so, of course, uh, we need to uh, do, do what we can to teach ourselves, be shepherds of our own spiritual life, and, and seek to, uh, to uh, share the fullness of the truth with everyone we meet. Thank you.